I'm from Minnesota, so anything uh, west of Minnesota is California. And I was surprised talking to the guys here that they were unfamiliar with uh, subsurface glide baits. We've been fishing them in Minnesota and Wisconsin for muskies since the 60s. And at that time, they were the most lethal, lethal bait for muskies that anyone had ever seen before. And the whole trick was get beyond just walking the dog and slapping. The trick was this long, long glide, almost a 180 degree turn back, and at the end, this little kind of a hang and a shake. The big wide glide, as I said, I invented it for muskies, but we've been catching tuna, stripers, all sorts of fish on it. Out here in California, if you're a striper fisherman, here's what my advice is if you want to fish this subsurface glider. It weighs about four ounces, so cast it as far as humanly possible. When it hits the water, bring it in at warp 20. Bam, 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 bam. It'll kind of work like this just underneath the surface. When you get it 50, 60 feet from the boat, and there will be a pile of fish behind it if you're on fish, stop it dead and give it a, a short but pretty hard pop followed by slack. And what the bait will do is turn off to the side like this. And just as it starts to stop, boom, again, but give it slack and it'll turn almost 180. And if you get it working right, it'll go side to side almost eight feet. And those first couple of big slides side to side is usually when they bite it. This is a smaller version that I actually designed primarily for tarpon because they're so hard to get to bite a lure. And uh, we found that Big largemouth, big smallmouth, like it just the same. You work it similar to this, but really gently. You just barely have to tap it. Tap, followed by slack, and it'll just kind of glide off to the side and sort of hang there. Absolutely lethal uh, in pre-spawn, and also really lethal when fish are holding really tight to cover and faster moving baits, just, uh, they just let them go by. Oh, and one other thing. If you're fishing any, any good glide bait, if you've got a heavy leader with a heavy swivel on this end of it, the moment you pull, everything is straight, but the moment it stops, what happens? The swivel drops down like so. And it'll actually reduce the amount of glide that you'll get out of the bait. So my advice is if you're going to use steel, use a light leader. If you've got a snap fine on this end, don't use a swivel on the other. Either that or just use a light piece of fluorocarbon. Yes, well, it's the only one in the whole world like it. I call it a, a wide glider. A wide glide. It hooks on it that you could pull your mother out of a tree with.